Hi guys. I'm just going a little walk to Centurion Woods again. Different way round. Trying to find somewhere where I can actually put a hammock up. But apparently there's a woodland right next to it. So I'm going to check that out. And stuff like that. I've decided to make another channel up called Bob How To. Basically, idiot's guide of bushcrafting, camping, and just getting out there. So, watch this space. So that channel will be next. All right, see you guys in a bit. Subscribe. Welcome back. Well, I'm wearing my little little day bag. Got my hammock in there and my um, under blanket. And I thought I bought some landlines with me just to test if I can actually fit in any woodland around here. Come out in the evening because it's a lot cooler than it is in the day. Last time I went out earlier than this, I nearly had heat stroke. Okay, probably said this before, but there you go. Got all my batteries, battery pack, my leads, packed them this time, and everything else. Coming up to this bit of woodland, so I'm gonna check it out. See you in a bit. Object of this film is to find a nice place where I can stealth camp, wake up with a lovely view in the morning. I've had enough of waking up in front of trees. I want to see a bit of sky. <laughs> so, I'm um, hopefully this will go straight to Centurion Woods, where I've been looking on Google, Google Maps a good spot but I've just got to check it in person because you can't it's just a bird's eye view you can't see what's there so couldn't use those woods it goes Phew. nah <laughs> see myself in a hammock and then middle of the night on the floor rolling down the cliff so I'm hoping I can find some good spots Also gonna test it out, see if it's good enough for the hammock. Brought my hammock with me. So if that's a cliff. Oh, no, 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 no. Loads of wildlife around. You can't see it. Crow in that tree. It's a chair then. <laughs> right, back in there, just gonna check something out. There was a squirrel climbing up that tree. It growled at me going up to that tree. I thought, what the? Then I have actually arrowed it where it is. You probably can't see it on this video clip, but I saw the red tail where the arrow is pointing. About now. And then it just crumbled all around the tree. I think I've got a red squirrel there. Oh well. Where's knocking now? Sounds on the ground. Right. 
Last time I walked through here, it was all marshy. So far, two mozzies has come up to me. It managed to rebuild them. So I don't know if it's because of that, or is it just they just don't like me here? <laughs> Not like the other campsite, I think we've smothered with bites everywhere. Time to get that spray out. Affecting this side, but not this side. That's quite refreshing. It's just now raining. It's cooled me down a little bit. It's a bit of a bonus. Try and find a way into this woodland. Should be a little pathway. See you guys. Hi guys. Well, someone has lost their glasses here. So I unplugged the lead. So if anyone's lost glasses around Century and Woods, they're on this little billboard here. All right, yeah, so I found some nice good spots. That's potential camp stealth, well, wild stealth camping. That's the idea, is just go out, have a look, see what you can find. It's just trying to find a get in there, that's the problem. But I could go over there, or I could go over that way. That way's really dense, so I need a machete to get in there. And that way, Probably the same, but Google Maps say it goes round like that. That bit there, my head's in the way. Yeah, there. So it goes round like that in. I could try that. That is where the lost town of Wolverton was in there. So far, this has worked quite well. So far. It's perhaps because it was the rain coming over, there's a nice little black cloud behind me. Lovely, eh? It's cooled me down quite a lot, actually. I'm a bit shocked about that. Yeah, so I think over there, but the other side of that woodland is a house, so I don't really want to be too close. But over there looks very promising as well. Just need two trees together to put a hammock up. Brilliant. But by the look at that sky, it's going to come in a bit later tonight. So yeah, I haven't got a tamp tarp. Just brought my hammock and undercoat, um, under blanket. So do you think this is a complete one of Bob's balls up, or just one of Bob's just wanted to get out of the house? Yeah. All right. Trying to find another way around. Because that look over there looks quite present good. Right. I'll go the other way around and find another way in. See you guys in a bit. Right, guys. Found a 
couple of potential places down that way. But I have to wear either a jacket or a jumper because I'm not going down there with just a t-shirt and my arm showing. It would be like rip my life to pieces. This is my last resort. No, I don't think so. So I'm gonna come back here with shirt on and check it all out or go the other pathway up. I've taken those stones home with me. But yeah. See you guys in a bit. Right. So far guys, I've been seeing some potential sites here. I've just got to plan it better. It's the idea, you go out, have a look where you think you could go and then work out the best times. Don't just go out there, take if you want with you, go and have a look and then plan your camp. Don't just, just go out there with everything on you because you don't know what's going to be around. So, not to put your willies up to you, but you don't know. You might think, oh, that's a good spot, then realise it's like that, or like that. So it's a good idea, just go out there, have a look what you could actually use around you. Don't just go out there willy-nilly. Guys, I mean, this is all dying. Brain gone. Gar wild garlic. It's all dying off now. Yes, you've seen it. I went up this way on my pathway to Warmington. I really want to camp out here to see what it's like. But I've had a little check out some potential spots, some other places I can check out later off camera, and I'll surprise you. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, yeah, just check. Go out there and check your area out. Stay there in different times of the day, so you know. You could think, oh, this is a nice spot, end up being bang right in the middle of the pathway. You don't want that. So you want to have places where it's off the pathway and basically no one can see you. I mean, so there's some of that there could be ideal for winter because hardly people go out winter time. But then again, you've got the offshoot of being like very cold, but hardly being spotted. Trade off. And then you've got to work out Work out the um, northwest at least. North wind always gets you cold more, so you really want to be south facing, not north facing. Summer doesn't really matter, but but yeah. So north to east, if you want a nice, if you want a sunset, park your tent, hammock, east facing. And if you want a sunset, park your tent. West facing. Simple ways of doing it is the sun goes from east to west. That's how you work out your east to west. But it doesn't go straight, it goes in an elliptic way. So that gives you an idea. Right, I'm going to go the other way and see if I can find another little campsite. Well, it's not campsite, but stealth camp. And that's going to be west facing. So technically I shouldn't get the wind that much. Because when we camped up on Culver Cliff, I was getting a lot of north wind. Because the island is not actually dead straight, it's off a little bit, off a kink. If you actually look on the world map, it's not dead north. It's just a little bit off. 
there you go. I know another YouTuber camps the other side of Culver. That's south facing. Very good idea. But by this, he's got a path that goes that way. So I'm going to check this one out. See where this goes. Right, so far, my um, anti mozzie spray works well. Looks like that goes that way. I think I've walked that way. And this way goes to the gate. Right. Yeah. Right. Disused lock. What a you sweat if it's called. So now I'm now on the other side of the river, yeah? But remember, this all used to be an estuary. See you guys in a bit. There are guys, I hope you enjoy my short video. It's just basically to tell you how to basically plan and prep. These guys on YouTube have done it for years, so they don't know where to go. But us newbies, beginners, we're just like new at this. They are like expert, so they know what, where, when, when, and where. We just like plod on plonk a base down and go oh I shouldn't have put it there but hey it's all about experience that's why you follow my channel that's why you subbed because you'd like the experience or just like me doing complete fluff up after fluff up like I should have wear a long sleeve I'm stung like anything down my arm good plan so there you are guys thanks for watching this so the next video will be a proper camp out one. I'm not camping this weekend. Just thought I'd give you a nice little rundown. So, see you guys in a bit, or later.